So was you had a very nice functioning dairy plant. About 30 years ago it was closed down. But it was such a great training facility and most of the people who worked in the dairy industry in Oregon and even to a certain degree in Washington got the training with Floyd Bodyfeld at OSU. We rebuilt the creamery uh, in 1965-66, modernized it, and then in 1969 the president of the university and another administrator for whatever reasons, mainly they felt that universities should not compete with private enterprise, they, they closed the creamery. The facility was slowly falling into pieces basically and being used as a storage facility. I spent a year there studying cheese production and especially raw milk cheese making and trying to understand the safety systems that were put in place to keep these cheeses safe. Then coming back and realizing we needed to have a functioning dairy plant. So thanks in, to a lo large part to ODI that have put money into helping me remodel the pilot plant and get some new equipment. We now have a nice facility. People can come in, make dairy products and then sell them and get basically get their business started that way. So they get a chance before they invest all the money needed to start up a dairy plant to see if they even want to do it, if they can make good quality dairy products. There's a number of extension classes two, three, four cheese making classes each year for, for the general public. We have the students come in just on their own for fun. They make the dairy products, especially cheese and ice cream. And I think that's really important to make the, the kids motivated about careers in dairy. If they like making their products, it's much more likely that they'll apply for a job with a, with a dairy company. And Lyle had a real dedication to ODI and I think he develop that dedication with ODI through his relationship with Oregon State University. They had a very good working relationship uh, with the Dairy and Food Science Department there. Lyle was a real supporter in helping build the class space. With Wythicum Hall, I believe was the name of the building. We hired, I think, six of the trainees from Oregon State. They were some of the best employees we ever had. They could pasteurize, they could make ice cream, they could make butter, they could make cheese. They knew it all, and they were adaptable. Roy Stein and Floyd were real meticulous in training these people. As soon as they graduated, we, uh, there were jobs available for them, and we were fortunate to get that many. My earlier graduate student career, I'd taken on the task of starting up and coaching a judging team, which competed in a local contest in Portland each fall. The glory was going national. Oregon dairy industries were the primary supporter of funding for that. You get some support from the national sponsors of the contest, but the majority of it has to come from your local industry. Collegiate judging team was near and dear to Tony's heart. Supported it financially. If the team wanted a venue to do some judging, he opened up the dairy's facilities to do that. But he was always at the conference where the judging happened and was there to give the team support. But I think the most important function that he performed was in raising awareness for the importance of the judging team and, and um, hoping that all those kids that were on it became successful in the dairy industry. Within eight years, my team's uh, lost first place in Montreal, Canada by a fraction of a point. We had good students and good luck and good fortune. What returned to them over the years was the knowledge that came out of the university in, in manufacturing quality products. And that's the real key for all of us in this industry is to use the ODI and Oregon State University to develop uh, flavorful, wholesome, quality products. The ODI supported Floyd so much in that effort, and they took me in as part of the family and supported Washington State just as much as they did Oregon State. Tony and Oscar Larson, and uh, they just put their arms around all of us, kids and everybody, and, and it was one, one big happy family from the Northwest, and we were out against the rest of the country. Technology can change, and, and all sorts of things can change, but the thing that won't change is the need to bring wholesome, uh, healthy food to market. And all the kids who graduate in the program um, will probably never be without a job being part of a, of a 
of a really an important and necessary and good, wholesome industry.